So today we're going to give you guys a tour of our 2006 Winnebago view and we're going to show you guys just how a family of four and a large dog lives and boondocks in this RV. So ours is a class C RV. I'm pretty sure it's the smallest of the class C family. It's 24 feet. We chose this specific RV because we read all the forums that say this one gets most likely the, the best gas mileage of all the Class C's. So it's got a diesel engine, solar panels on top, and a garage on the other side. And we'll show you all that before we go inside and show you what we've done with it. So as you can see, we have our slide pulled out right now. And whenever it's pushed in, this rig is easy to drive and maneuver even among the cities. Underneath the pop out, we have our propane setup underneath here. We can turn it on, we can turn it off or refill it. Under this door, we have our outdoor shower. And with, this is where we will refill the water for whenever we go boot docking. So come around here. So we have the tow set up, but right now we're not towing anything. So along with our AC unit up here, we have our solar panel. On a good sunny day, this thing can just recharge our batteries. We're on the other side of the RV now and we're going to show you the garage and what I didn't mention was the generator. So let's get into this. This fits more than we even need or should have brought. This is the uh, Onan Micro Quiet 3600 LP. This thing uh, sounds like a generator. It's still a little loud, but this thing runs off of uh, propane. It's been great. We haven't used it a ton because we haven't needed to due to the solar, but it's been really nice to have as just a backup. Now we'll show you the inside. So this is our kitchen. As you can see from the before video, we've done a lot to it. My mother-in-law helped us put in this butcher block countertop sticker. She also helped put this subway tile sticker as well. We changed out pretty much all the hardware. We put in these this gold hardware. We also changed out the faucet. We changed it out for a gold one. We've got a three burner stove that serves us every single day. And when we turn on the generator, we're able to use this convection oven. So this technology, I didn't even know exist. This microwave actually cooks pizzas. It can grill, it can roast, it can bake. You can make sweets in here. Didn't even know this existed, but thoroughly changed our lives. You play with Play-Doh? Mm -hmm. What'd you make? A potato. A potato. We love potatoes, huh? So this is our dinette. This also transforms into a bed and it acts as like kind of a smaller twin bed, I guess. We painted everything up here. There used to be cabinets up here, actually, and we thought it looked a little too crowded. So we took those out. Obviously, there's a couple of things you can see, but we're happy with it. I put up this uh, kind of a shiplap kind of thing here recently and... We love the way it turned out. It just adds, kind of breaks up the white. So my mother-in-law actually helped us reupholster these cushions. From the before video, you'll be able to see the tacky fabric they used before, but it's a beautiful white. Bold choice for a small RV with two kids and a dog. My father-in-law actually took out this like trim piece that you, you saw before and put in this beautiful looking wood. Happy we have a bunch of storage Mama. actually that we don't even use. I don't have enough stuff to put under here, but these pull out. There's some bedding actually, so I guess Happy we do have enough stuff. So let's take the long walk back to our bedroom where the magic happens. All jokes aside, this is actually honestly just enough space. You know, any smaller, I wouldn't be able to lay out, but I'm almost six foot two and I, I can have my head on the pillow and my feet aren't touching the wall over here. We've got a bunch of storage up here. This is all just Sophie's clothes, my clothes, and then this storage up here. We have Eleanor's school stuff, our Bibles and whatnot that we just use this for extra storage. Coming over here, we have a little hanging closet. All our shirts and whatnot are just hung up in here. There's also storage underneath this part of the bed right here. 
here. So now we're gonna move over into the bathroom. So this is the vanity area. This piece of wood actually was custom made by my father-in-law. <laughs> we actually bought all this stuff here. The sink, the faucet, we bought the mirror, and he was kind enough to install it all for us. We're gonna move into where the other magic happens. Ew. <laughs> So this is our bathroom. Nothing fancy, but the toilet just goes directly into our black water tanks. The showers are something to adjust to. So believe it or not, <laughs> I can stand straight up in the shower. It's a little tight, but you get everywhere you need to get and you know, you get out. You don't waste a lot of time in here. When we're at a campground, we can shower pretty much any time we want, but our preferred style of RVing is we love to boondock. We want to get out there. You know, right now we're in Pike National Forest and you know, we don't have running water right now other than what we have stored in our I think 30 some odd gallon tank so to conserve water when we're boondocking I'll probably actually shower once a week throughout the week I will just get a bowl of water and, and a bar of soap and wash down as best I can so we'll move straight on to this right here this is our fridge and it's actually not a bad size fridge for being you know a 24 foot RV so this can be both gas powered or electric powered uh, just depends if you're hooked up at a, at a campground or not right now we're powering it through our propane and uh, it keeps everything just as cold you can see that we changed out the floors it used to be this carpet but our father-in-law completely did it himself put all these this beautiful laminate flooring in and it's it looks great so if you want to be notified of future videos hit the subscribe button we're gonna be posting videos every monday and you can follow us where we're going where we're at what we're doing if you want more of the real life day-to-day -day content follow us on our instagram our handles are linked down below thanks for watching do you like being in the rv yes is it fun yes where are we right now what is that? Mountains. Mountains.